Matt Leininger, Public Agenda. Uh, I just want to transition us uh, to the next, um, to our next set of short take speakers who will be on here in just a second. Um, and in doing that, I want to say a little bit actually about about Text Talk Act, Text Talk Vote, because I think the backstory of it says a little bit about Frontiers as a conference. And there's a couple of people I want to point out who are actually in the room here um, who had a very important role to play in, in the development of both Text Talk and Act and Text Talk and Vote. And one is Andy Diaz, who is sitting over there, who actually, <laughs> who's now blushing, <laughs> who, when she was at Roger Williams University, organized the very first pilot of a set of college student guinea pigs who did Text Talk and Act for the first time in 2013, I think that was. Um, and the strength of that pilot and one at a high school in Oregon that allowed Text Talk and Act to kind of get refined and the script get made and all that kind of stuff and that and we moved on from there. And then also um, in the transition to Text Talk and Vote, two other people, um, uh, Bruce Mallory and Michelle Holt Shannon, who are also here somewhere. Oh, he's right. Where, where is Bruce? <laughs> um, so uh, another another uh, important role that was played, and I think um, what's important to that also is the fact that a thing like text, talk, and act rarely gets developed or springs out of the mind of any one person. It usually reflects collaboration. And some, many of the people who collaborate on Text Talk and Act actually met one another or strengthened their relationships through Frontiers and also the, the previous, the, the, the preceding Conference of Frontiers, No Better Time. And then the other thing that's important, I think, is that Text Talk and Act, Text Talk Vote, uh, represent uh, um, not just collaboration between people, but they represent the confluence of ideas. Um, and, and this, what you have experienced is, I think it's a confluence, one of many ways, but it's a confluence of some of the principles and practices of civic tech and some of the principles and practices of deliberative democracy. And that's exactly what Frontiers is set up to do, to try to help people kind of get exposed to all these different kinds of ideas, figure out some of the overlaps and intersections, and come up with some cool things that they can actually use and study and, and champion uh, in, in various ways. One of the ways we try to get that kind of mix of ideas and people going also, of course, is our short take speakers. And last night we had four really different, really outstanding, I thought they were really provocative uh, presentations from uh, Joe Horath and Helena Lendemore and Tiago Peixoto and Frankie LePay. Um, and so we have another set, uh, which also should be very invigorating and interesting, that we're going to um, introduce uh, right now. Um, and like, like Peter did last night, I mean, you know, these are extremely accomplished people with very long bios. You can go read uh, more of those bios on the conference website and also on their own uh, web pages. You can Google them. So I'm just going to give you a very quick thing, and I'm, and I'm just going to run through all four of them as we did last night, and we'll just have them come up once, you know, in succession. Um, and as one person is being applauded uh, from the podium, another person will be advancing to the podium. <laughs> and Kyle, who, Kyle, by the way, is the person who makes the short takes work technologically. So thank you, Kyle. So our four speakers are, uh, first of all, Daniel Allen, who is the director for the Center of Ethics and, uh, Center, <laughs> sorry, the director of the Center of Ethics and professor of government and education at Harvard. She's a political theorist who has published broadly in democratic theory, political sociology, and the history of political thought. Uh, her, among her books are Education and Equality, which is forthcoming this year, Our Declaration, 2014, From Voice to Influence, Understanding Citizenship in a Digital Age. Laura Grattan is the Associate Professor in Political Science Department at Wellesley College. Uh, she's the author of Populism's Power, uh, Radical Grassroots Democracy in America. In addition to that, her research on, in addition to her research on democratic theory and practice, she has long been active in civic engagement and community organizing with the Kettering Foundation, the Industrial Areas Foundation, and Wellesley's program in a public leadership and action. Talman Joseph Smith is the teaching assistant and research associate at the NYU Arthur Carter Journalism Institute and a contributor to Huffington Post Politics and Media. His research focuses as a Tisch scholar uh, over the last three years and writer at issue one, centered on regulatory capture and anatomizing the conflicts of interest the current finance system produces for Congress and its industrial oversight committees. And then finally, Victor Yang is an educator and labor organizer. He is doing leadership development work with janitors and security officers of SEIU 32BJ, uh, local of the Service Employees International Union. He's a doctorate in politics and a master of public policy from Oxford and a bachelor's in the history of science from Harvard. So welcome to all four of our speakers. <laughs> 